guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber from Sokajin Cosplay and today we are back as guys with Madoka Magica, <laughs> episode five, uh, 4. We do this, we're happy, but last episode wasn't <laughs> happy. Uh, mommy's dead, uh, her, she got her head she bit off. lost her head. Yeah, after speeches of how she felt alone for so for a while, she's always been, you know, fighting on her own, no one to speak to, no one to share this with. And then you got Maruka telling her basically she wanted to become just like her and she, she was a role model to her and she wanted to fight with her. Mm -hmm. And basically she found kinship in these girls and she was really happy and, and she found a new uh, vigor to fight, a new you know motivation. And then she died. She should have brought Homura with her. <laughs> Homura showed up uh, before the fight. She was like, that witch is stronger than you think it is, uh, stronger than the other one. You should let me handle it. And then her mommy just basically tied her up and, and left her behind. And when Homura showed up later, after the, the ribbons disappeared when she died, she was like, bitch, tick, 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 poof. everything was destroyed. And then she looked at the girls and she was like, this is the reality of a magical girl. Will they listen? Probably not. Nah, that uh, so yeah, too. we had this whole thing about wishes last episode. How you know, mommy was saying you gotta think about this because when I did my wish, I did not have time time to think about what I wanted, and uh, maybe I would have made something different. And I feel like she was feeling guilty about, or and she was she wasn't she was having regrets over yeah she was having regrets over what what happened when when she became a magical girl. And, uh, but then despite what she's saying, it looked like Kyubei really tried to rush things up, tried to make them not think about this, you know, kind of like, almost like he created those situations so they would have to wish for, you know, the power because they had no other choice. Yeah. Even in the end, like when mommy died, they were like, fuck, what do we do? And he's like, hurry up, make that wish. I'm like, talk about pressure. So thank God for Humura being there. And uh, we'll see what happens now. But uh, yeah, it was a shock. And now we have to deal with the grief. So yeah. Oof. So let's jump in this episode and see what they have in store for us now. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, guys, if you want to know when these episodes come out. Check out our Patreon for the full reactions. And please... Don't be too harsh on us, we're tired, it's late, so I'm not responsible for this crazy stuff or the crazy <laughs> English that we might say. <laughs> let's go! Right, let's go! <laughs> yeah, she sounds like she wants the, uh, the rewards. <laughs> Big time, yeah. Okay, so... So I'm not surprised. Again, like, oh, I'm gonna leave, uh, you know, if you don't want to become magical girls, it's all fine. But then the second she has a doubt, whoo -hoo, who's right there in front of her? Hi. Yeah, at this point, like, it's, the Hi. pressure was there, the manipulation was there. Again, I, I can't say, I don't know how bad he is. I don't know how he influences everything. I don't know how that's happening. But the coincidence is way too huge that right after they said no, stuff happened to people they knew to force them into, you know, rethinking what they, they, they were saying. I wouldn't even be surprised if, you know, because, I mean, we say witches influence uh, depression and suicide thoughts and stuff like that. Like, what if, like, even that guy at the hospital was influenced somehow just to lead there? Because we know they were thinking of making, you know, wishes for others. I don't know. You know speaking of uh, wishes for others, last episode you were mentioning, you know, Depending, the way Kyubei said it, uh, the type of wish you make can make you even stronger depending on, on stuff. Yeah. Uh, we didn't know if it was because, you know, if you make a wish for yourself, it gives you certain type of powers. Well, I theorize that maybe if you're making a wish for somebody else, that uh, that's a proof of that you have a, a pure soul. So no, maybe, it, it, it is a proof, but does that yeah. how does that influence the power you get? Well, she was pretty strong for her first time. But yeah, but I mean... Maybe the demon, the, the the witch wasn't that strong. We don't know. In any case, I I thought it was interesting how Homura kept saying, you know, we become magical girls. This is the price we pay for having that wish we made for ourselves. So basically, everyone assumes that it's basically playing with your greed, sort of like your selfish need for something. 
that you you would want something for yourself without thinking about the consequences. And I said last episode, maybe that's how they are approached. You know, if there is something you deeply need and stuff, I can give it to you. And mm -hmm. in exchange, you'll become a magical girl. And then they do it without thinking that maybe that wish isn't worth all the consequences. How does that happen? Maybe, maybe it's not an, it's not an instant thing. Like you don't lose everyone when you become a magical girl, but it's the life, the type of life you make, you know, we were assuming death, but it's, it's, you know, the, the loneliness is also cutting you off from the rest of your family and yeah. friends. It's, it's something that you have to deal with. The fact that it's a, a, it's a miserable, lonely life where when you die, basically no one ever finds out about you because and you there's can't no share carbs, there's nothing yeah and you can't share it with anyone you can't talk about this to anyone so man you know when they talk about being lonely with mommy it was really you know no family people were dead so with but with people like Homura, maybe it's not metaphorical but maybe the way she meant it is you know in every sense of the term basically your life is not your own anymore. You have to be this magical girl, go through your experiences. You're gonna see people die. You're gonna, you know, fail missions and, and you ha you'll have to fight and then you can't share that with anyone. So you're cut off, you're completely alone and it's miserable. The way she, the way I see her, she's been through so much <laughs> shit. She is so but broken. But she did say that she lost too many people to count anymore. Yeah. So that, that's a lot. And she seems like more deeply... Than, more than, than that's for sure. She seems deeply disappointed or angry even that Sayaka made the deal. So it's not even just about Madoka. I I feel like that other ma magical girl is after the reports. Like she came here Kyoko. as... Yeah, yeah it's, it sounds like she came here thinking, you know, apparently this is a great spot for witches perhaps. And the, the stuff they drop is am amazing. So there's a lot of magic, a lot of power here, uh, which is why maybe it's a popular spot. And she came here to deal with it, but mommy was in charge of it before. And now that she's gone, it's free ter territory and she will be a, comp a competitor. She will be fighting us. Homura doesn't give that vibe at all. So I don't think that, you know, I think she, like I said, a few, I basically said that every <laughs> episode, but yeah, I feel like... For her, it's not so much about the competition, and I wish, I hope I'm not wrong about this, because otherwise that makes her uh, very different from what I imagine. <laughs> I'm liking her a lot, you know, I love the darkness. From, from what I can understand of her, she's taking that very, very seriously, and I can understand why she was so pissed at seeing uh, Sayaka being a magical girl, because she seemed to be... You're the, throwing away the, stuff the, that the you so have. so likely yeah. to be it. Sort like, of. oh, I, I think I did a pretty good job from, uh, for my first hunt, don't you think? Like, she's so... She, I don't think that she really understood what... Even, like, even though <laughs> that she knows that mommy died because of it. Maybe our theory that witches used to be human or magical girls and stuff is true. And if she knows it, you know, that would be even more terrible. To know that, you know, you can't save these witches, they're gone. You can't save the people that, that, that you know, become magical girls because they, they'll have to go through their, their own tragedies and then mm -hmm. they'll end up miserable. So, I don't know, like, the way she's saying it, like, how many lives has she seen lost? And how come she has seen so many lives lost? If witches used to be human and she knows about it, that would be one way. Mm. But in any case, yeah, it's true, Sayaka... It's kind of taking it as a joke, but then not really. Well, I mean, we understand why she made that uh, that contract to for, uh, for someone else, yeah. for someone else to be ill and be able to play or uh, develop the violin again. But she couldn't stand to see him be so sad. Yeah, I, mean, I, I get it, it. It, it. To me, it looks like she's taking her job very lightly at the beginning. Uh, what I feel is that. She doesn't understand the, um, you know, the weight of the consequences of that wish. Yeah. And Homura has tried to warn them. And I mean, she lacks people skills, but she's <laughs> tried. And uh, Madoka understood. You know, she saw the prize, and and she was terrified by the death of Mami and how it happened. Mm -hmm. And then she was utterly terrified, learning that no one was ever going to find out where what happened to her. And that it would take even a while. Like, it's a horrible death and it's a horrible, you know, 
uh, way to go and to, to go on after that because your memory is basically broken. Everything yeah. about you is broken. So uh, yeah, I feel like uh, Madoka really got hurt, but then she also didn't know what the wish she, she was gonna make was. She had no, nothing to basically equal the balance. Yeah. Whereas for Sayaka, she knew the consequences or she saw the consequences. She's just maybe too detached from it. The way she deals with the trauma was very different. She didn't, she kind of hid them behind a mask or a persona. You know, she doesn't want to talk about it. She doesn't want to deal with it. So wow. maybe that detached her too much from understanding what it meant to be a magical girl. I think the appeal to help a friend in need who really, really needed it was bigger than the consequences of maybe No, but that's what I said. Kana. You have that balance and she had a goal, whereas Madoka didn't. And then you add to that the fact that for Madoka, the consequences that she saw with Mami and stuff was waiting a lot because she was dealing with it. She was feeling those emotions and she was not doing great. And then you add to that the fact that she had no goal, no wish. <laughs> then yeah. yeah, of course, she doesn't want to do it. Uh, that's probably going to change. We saw it in the dream. Um, it's going to be a, a selfless decision, though. She's going to do it to save someone, for sure, like in the dream. Maybe it's a foreshadowing. Like Maybe it's, it's, it's going to happen exactly like this. To save the world? Maybe. In any case, and then for Sayaka, the balance is she had a wish, and then that wasn't strong enough because she kept pushing it back. She didn't want to think about it. She didn't want to talk about it so no clear understanding no re no emotional response that we saw at least because she was focused on something else she was focused on the reward instead of the consequences so that could not balance out the wish and True. the wish one yeah and Kyubei was right there in front of her to take that reward with his creepy smile yeah I know oh boy I do not think it's a coincidence I'm I don't know if he can actually do stuff like I was trying to look at the patch that that was on on those people see if we could recognize the sign or something if it looked like him or anything but I I, I didn't see shit but in, in any case I think the coincidence is way too big like even last episode I was thinking that because they have never met a witch before and then <laughs> suddenly it's witches there and witches there and witches everywhere of course yeah I mean I guess once you're introduced to this uh, to that world. They stumbled upon an egg last episode. They saw one right there. And then, yeah. whoops, surprise, surprise, your friend is one of the victims for another witch attack. True. It's it, not a coincidence. It is a, a huge coincidence. That's true. No, it's not. It's a coincidence. Oh boy. But yeah, and uh, now we have a new character that we'll have to take care She's of. She's gonna bring trouble. I love Sayaka's way of fighting. I love the fact that she has a sword. I really enjoy so swords. Usually this is my favorite fighting style in... Uh, she looks like a knight. Kinda. But swords, katana, stuff like that usually is my my favorite style of fighting. So, uh, I don't know what Madoka's fighting style will be. magic wand, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe. Um... I mean, they, they kind of have a fighting style, but then they can do other things. Like, uh, for example, um, uh, Homura, we've seen her use chains, I think. Well, we saw chains, but then we um, she did, she defeated the last witch without well, chains. I think I saw a poster before, but I'm not going to say anything because I'm not sure. They don't say anything. So, yeah. So, yeah. Basically, um, last episode was intense. This episode, uh, we I mean, one of the girls is now a magical girl, so things are still going to be intense. I mean, I can really be disappointed for Sayaka to be a magical girl because technically... We gotta keep the drama going. <laughs> without her, Madoka would have been dead. Well, Homura was on her way. <laughs> she was kind of late. Yes, a little bit. She, she, she tends to be late to, well, yeah, I mean, to fight, right? It's not, it's not that she's late. It, I mean, <laughs> you, you're, you're living your life and then there's an attack. If you're not close, if you're not lucky enough, then yeah, you can't stop it. Yeah. Well, yeah, but without Sayaka, Madoka would have been dead. Yes. But then what happens to Sayaka, though? If it's a cursed thing going that's, on? That's another story. <laughs> we'll see. I'm, I'm, I know th st things are going to get intense again, and uh, I'm enjoying it. Like, I, we're <laughs> saying, ah, no, shit is hitting the fan. No, but we're actually enjoying the drama. Of course we so, are. 
Okay, we're gonna end this here and uh, move on to the next episode and see how crazy things are gonna get. Thank you guys so much for watching this with us. If you want to see episode 5 right away, it is on Patreon already. You can check it out. The link is in the description below. And if you don't, the next one will be on YouTube next week. So see you then, guys. Bye!